Hello everyone. Today we are going to find the member forces in this address using method of sections. In this address, in the point A, there is a hinged support and in the point E, there is a roller support. We know that in the hinged support, there will be two reactions and in the roller support, there will be only one reaction. Here, there is only vertical reaction. First, let us find the vertical reaction VA. To find that, I am going to take a moment about E. VA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4. So, 4 VA. The horizontal load 60 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3. This horizontal load is acting in the clockwise direction so it is also positive and the distance is 3. This horizontal load is also acting in the clockwise direction. So it is also positive and the distance is 6. For VA, we will get a negative value. That means our assumption is incorrect. We assumed that VA is acting upwards, but actually it is acting downwards. Now let us apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0 and find VE. VA is acting downwards, so it will be negative. Let us keep VE upwards so that it will be positive. For VE, we will get a positive value. That means our assumption is correct. VE is acting upwards. Let us apply sigma H is equal to 0 and find HA. HA is acting towards the left side, so it will be negative. These three loads are acting towards the right side, so all three of them are positive. For HA, we will get a positive value. That means our assumption is correct. HA is acting towards the left side. We have to find this angle. Let us keep this angle as theta. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, let us apply tan theta formula. We know that tan theta is opposite side by adjacent side. Using that, we can find theta. For theta, we will get 36.87. If this angle is 36.87, this angle and this angle also should be 36.87. 90 minus 36.87, we will get 53.13. Let us make the first section like this and let us take this part and find the member forces. First, let us apply sigma v is equal to 0. 120 and FDE are acting upwards. So both of them are positive. For FDE, we will get a negative value. That means it is compressive. Let us apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0. There is only one horizontal force FAE. So that will be 0. Now let us make the second section like this. And let us take this part and do the analysis. Let us take moments about D. When we take moments about D, we should not consider FAD. We know that FAE is a 0, so we should not consider this also. The remaining forces are FAB, 130 and 120. About the point D, 120 is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so that it will be negative and the distance is 4. 130 is acting in the clockwise direction, so that it will be positive and the distance is 3. FAB is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4. For FAB, we will get a positive value that means it is tensile. Now let us apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0. 130 is acting towards the left side so it will be negative. FAD is inclined, we have to make it horizontal. To make it horizontal, we need 36.87 degree. Since FAD is acting towards the right side, it will be positive and we have to multiply with the cos 36.87. For FAD, we will get a positive value. That means it is tensile. Let us make the third section like this and let us take this part and do the analysis. Let us apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0. FBD 60 and 30 are acting towards the right side, 
so all three of them are positive for fbd we will get a negative value that means it is compressive now let us apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0 fab and fcd are acting downwards so both of them are negative we know the value of fab it is 22.5 and it is tensile let us apply that for fcd we will get a negative value that means it is compressive now let us make the last section like this and let us take this part and do the analysis we have already calculated fcd only we have to find fbc we can apply sigma h is equal to 0 and find it that e is acting towards the right side so it will be positive fbc is inclined we have to make it horizontal to make it horizontal we need 36.87 degree fbc is acting towards the left side so it will be negative and we have to multiply with the cos 36.87 we will get a positive value that means it is tensile now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video